Hello. I wasn't quite sure how to explain it. Um, I think it would be easier to, to show it. I went ahead and copied and pasted your chart into a new Word document because um, the, the previous one extended beyond the boundaries of the paper and that made it difficult to, to work with. Um, so I just copied and pasted that into a new Word document that was in landscape format. Uh, the way that you change that up here is orientation. Um, and when you select orientation, you can change it to landscape. And that gave me more space on the sides to kind of bring these, bring these sides in a little bit more. And then once I had all the columns narrower, then I just changed it back to a portrait orientation. Um, after that, once you have everything all visible on the screen, uh, then the way that you would insert a column is to kind of hover over, um, hover over this. Uh, if it doesn't work at first, then like click on a, ne a nearby cell and then you can have that little that little plus sign pop up. So if you click on that plus sign, you'll get a new column, uh, new column there. Let me undo that. Um, up here I've noticed it's really close to the top so it's not giving me that plus sign. So something you could do is hover over the, the cell, right click, and then click uh, insert and you can select whether you want to insert a column to the right or to the left. So if I want to insert a column to the left, I'll do that and it'll show up there. And of course I can undo that if I want to. If you, um, if you insert a column someplace and you're like, no, I don't want to, to put that, you could also, hang on, let me insert a column. Um, you could also select delete column. So, um, and then you can just move them around like this to make them narrower or wider or whatever you want. Uh, let me know if that answers your question. If not, uh, we will talk some more. All right, thanks.